the u s geological survey is an incredible resource in the within the u s for not only water quantity data but also water quality data and there's a lot of information on this page and it's a very dynamic page it is updated regularly and there are a lot of different ways to find data so i'm just going to overview some basics and you may find data in a completely different way i'm going to look at the continuous data map interface and then also in with the national water information system and the basic layout of that page this will be a pretty general overview and then the specialized data searches will be in a subsequent video so going to us gs dot gov and immediately heading to the water page there's on here someplace typically this map that ship shows current stream flow conditions and so this is the continuous or current condition information and if i click on that and i'm going to open it in a new tab then i get to this page and it's immediate it's producing this map that shows current data for all of these gauges across the u.s an incredible data resource and we can see um, where we are right now um, with relation to normal at these different gauges and I can click on Montana for instance and it will bring up a zoomed map of Montana I can hover over the sites and see the flow and I can click on one of the sites and bring up its uh, National Water Information System page and I'll come back to that uh, in a minute but another trick here is that, so this is quick access to data through a map interface. If you um, want to zoom in on this in your browser, typically you can hold Control and Plus down to zoom in. And this is just zooming within your browser. Um, it might make it easier to, to zoom in on the page, find the, the sites that you want. And then to reverse that, you go Control minus um, to get back out to the broader view. So going back to that uh, main water page, someplace next to that current condition is often this, uh, this water quality link, which will bring up another interactive map um, that shows us temperature for all these sites across the U.S. I'm also going to, you can click on turbidity. There's also a number of other um, choices for continuous measurement down here. Some of the turbidity sites in Montana have problems in the winter, so I'm going to click on um, Texas and can look at uh, some data down here where if you click on the gauge, you can actually look at a plot of the last um, handful of days and then can click on the hyperlink to the site number and it will again bring up this InWIS page um, for that site. So from the main water page, um, linking into that uh, current conditions is a nice way for a map interface to get to sites that have pretty high frequency data in a lot of cases. Uh, another way to view the data is to get to go to data and then get directly into the main page for the National Water Information System, NWIS, which will look something like this. And um, on the top right, you can um, select the category of data that you're looking at. We're going to get into some individual site information here in a minute, but you can also immediately filter for different states here. So if I filter um, for Montana right away, then it's only going to show me sites for Montana. And I'm going to go I'm going to go into water quality information here and it's going to bring up um, current conditions. So that's actually, uh, if I click on that list, um, it's a link to the sites that we were just looking at on the map um, listed out here in a table. And I can also go to daily data. So I'm going to right click again and open that new tab just so that I can quickly get back here in daily data so this is the list of sites i'm going to click on county and just only search by county you can use any of these other search filters um, i'm just going to go to beaverhead county because it's at the top of the list here and i'm not going to fill out any of these other search filters at this time i just want to submit and look at a list of all of the sites in um, beaverhead county montana and so i've got a number here and 
the um, I can click on again the site numbers to a hyper hyperlink to get to this Inwis page for that site. Um, so I can so that's current conditions daily data. I can also come down here and click on field and lab samples. There's a lot more sites that have field and lab samples. Um, and so I can go directly there. Again, I can filter just by county and say that, and again, because I have Montana selected up here, I'm only looking for stuff within Montana. I can um, back that up and say the whole United States if I wanted to. Um, but again, if I just say Beaverhead County, I'm not gonna fill out any other um, criteria right now. I just want a list of all of them. There are a whole bunch of sites, 276. Um, in Beaverhead County, Montana. But some of these are going to have really small sample numbers over here. This one only has one. So obviously that's not going to work for your site. There's some some here with pretty high numbers. So um, could look that look at those sites specifically. And so a number of different ways here to get to individual sites. I'm going to click on one of these that has a relatively high number of uh, samples. So 400 and 81 there and I'm going to open that over here and I get to this page that has um, so this is the endless page for this site number with this site name and the layouts parallel for all of these sites and so you can enter different search criteria and you've got this drop down box here I got to this page by coming through the NWIS water quality search, so it defaulted to this view, but I can come back up and say, give me a summary of all of the data, and it's then going to give me this list of, of all of the data. And it's got a whole bunch of daily discharge points from starting in 1907 and running through current. So that's, uh, that's a way to summarize the data, and then ultimately what you want to do, if I is get this data out um, in a tab delimited form. You can uh, view it first in a table if you'd like, but um, which might is a little easier to view, but ultimately I'm going to get it out in tab. And I could uh, put in a limiting, uh, a limiting date range here of whatever I'd like and ultimately here get this into this tab delimited and then save this out as save it as a text file. So in this instance we were browsing by location. We also looked at the map of current conditions um, and this list of, of sites that have current conditions. So those are going to be ones that have a lot of data. Um, but we may also care more about um, data for a specific parameter. And so in the next video, I will show you how to do searches for specific types of data.